she was a beautician and they made considerable, well, the beauticians didn't make considerable money, but the owner of the shop, which he was also a beautician and his wife worked together and then they had uh, her sister and her and uh, the, the beautician sister. And um, Anita went to work for them. And when we looked at the finances, it looked pretty good. But I couldn't stand working around them women all day. So I kind of enjoyed working for the phone company and uh, doing what I did, which was a telephone installer repairman. And um, kept with it. I uh, worked for the phone companies for 33 years. And then when I had, <clears throat> I was um, supposed to have Kelly in about two weeks, and um, he decided we should have a family car. So we went out and got a Ford Falcon. Is that a station? <laughs> no radio, no, no radio, no nothing, you know. Just the bare bones car, but at least it was new and it ran. And I was excited with both kids. Did you know it was a girl? No, back then you took what you got. Well, I think we wanted at least to have two children. Yeah. And a boy and a girl would have been fine, or a girl and a boy would be fine. Did she get grumpy or anything like that? No, no, not really. It didn't seem, to me it didn't seem to matter too much. Although the type of job that I had, I worked an awful lot. I always did work a lot. So maybe there were things I should have noticed that I didn't. <laughs> So what? <laughs> yes, I was, definitely. Yeah. Uh, they had books and things, but we never, we figured we could do it on our own. And, but I learned a lot, even after the kids were growing up, reading these articles in the newspaper by this guy Desmond, which would have probably made a difference in things that I had done, like discipline and oh, probably a lot of things. I, I think a lot of this guy. And as, as you get older, though, you change your ways, you revolve, things change in the world. I showed Kelly um, the movie of the wedding, and I was, I, all of a sudden I looked over at her and she was sitting there crying. I said, what's the matter? And she said, time just goes by so fast, and it does. Kelly is 47, yeah. She's a terror. Kelly was a terror? Up half the night. I mean, you know, she was just, um, I, I wouldn't want to say colicky, but yeah, she was a little terror. And then I had you, and um, I had to go in and check and make sure you were alive. <laughs> you had separation anxiety when you were pretty little, maybe a year old or something like that. And the doctor said that I should go out of the house for maybe half an hour, an hour, almost every day without you. And boy, you just cry and then you just go to bed. You, it was really bad. You know, I was really worried about it. And I finally had to tell dad, I said, when I go out like that, I said, don't let him go to bed. Because it's like you just crawl up in bed and not interact with anybody. Chicago. Okay, kind of like Orlando and there, all the things around right. it. And we're, okay. Did you like it there? Um, yeah, I did when I lived there. But once I moved away, I never want to go back. Right. How come? Big city. Um, expensive. Cold winters. Hot summers. We went down to Florida once on vacation. We went to the state of Washington on vacation. One time when we were robbed, they stole our refrigerator. And they had a bunch of stuff piled up in the boat, like they were going to take that too. Um, and I was really mad about the refrigerator because that day I had made um, a strawberry cake roll with whipped cream and strawberries. It was really a pretty thing, you know. And I had it in the refrigerator. We went to a PTA meeting and came back, and we were going to have that for dessert. Yeah, <laughs> everything was gone. I mean, the refrigerator and everything. But that's, that's a really horrifying thing, you know, especially to kids like you. Mm -hmm. But they ransacked everything, you know, the mattresses off the beds and drawers pulled out and it was a mess. And I remember you coming home from school one day 
and you stood in front of the front door and he looked at the front door and like you didn't know whether to go in or not because you were afraid. So you stooped over and picked up a rock and you had it in your hand to protect yourself with this rock. And I, when I saw that, I just said, Dad, this is it. We're not staying here, we're moving. And we did.